Hello, 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 my friends. Today we are looking at the Artisan Arroyo. So this is a really interesting knife. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to talk about this one. So let's kind of just dive right into it. Let's talk about the specs um, first. So we got a 3.375 inch blade, uh, 7.5 inches overall. Um, this steel is ARRPM9 which is uh, the same steel that they've been using in their CGRB, which is Artisan's kind of budget line. Uh, this is, ab as you can see, uh, unfinished micarta. Nice texture to that micarta right there. Uh, you can find these in G10 as well. This is 3.45 ounces. And to buy this knife, you're looking at, mm, for the G10, a little less, you know, about 40, 45 bucks for this one, you're looking at, you know, between 50 and 60. So let's do some size comparisons real quick. I know we're kind of going out of order of how I usually do it. So here is the uh, SOG Terminus, both micarta, but clearly different, right? So that is clearly finished, that is clearly not. Still has a nice olive kind of tone to it. A little bit of a longer blade on here, but similar sized handle uh, right there. So let's look at it in comparison to uh, the Benchmade Griptilian. So relatively similar in size. We got more handle length on there, quite a bit more handle length on that Griptilian. More of a full handle right there, yeah. And let's grab, I'm gonna grab it out of my knife case real quick. I forgot to grab it before the review started. Um, the uh, CJRB Gobi. So as many of you know, CJRB is kind of Artisan's budget line, though Artisan's, you know, makes budget stuff regardless. So uh, anyway, yeah, let's talk about what I like, what I dislike, and something unique on the Artisan Arroyo, which would be, would be how you actually pronounce it. Um, I speak a little bit of Spanish. Arroyo is um, Spanish for like stream or brook or river. So anyway, uh, what do I like? Well, I liked the unfinished micarta. Um, the reason I like unfinished micarta is because as you use it and as it wears and as you kind of keep it in your hand and your sweat and your natural oils get on it, it will slowly kind of finish and not quite look like that, but you know, it's going to um, feel more smooth and it's going to kind of patina, I guess you could say in a way, kind of wear in specific to you. And I think that's kind of fun. Another thing I like about Unfinished Micarta is when it's wet, it actually gets more grippy. So nice grip to that. And I really, really appreciate this Unfinished Micarta on here. Another thing I really like about this knife is the action. Just out of the box, very smooth, very nice. Um, you know, some knives, it takes them a little while for that action to kind of break in, but this is very smooth out of the box. Really, really nice action on this. Another thing I really, really like is this uh, ARRPM9 steel. Now, uh, from what I understand, ARRPM9 is a steel uh, specifically developed by, um, by Artisan Cutlery, uh, mostly for their CGRBs, but you know, I guess for this specific Artisan as well. Uh, it is a powdered metallurgy steel that was aimed at having the stainlessness of 14C28N and the edge retention of D2. And from what I can see, that's pretty darn close. They did a pretty good job with it. I haven't used this extensively, but I have used this CGRB Gobi a lot. Um, and this has that ARRPM9 steel. And it's just, it's held nudge very well. It's very similar to D2 in my experience, and I have had zero issues with it rusting, albeit I haven't taken it out in many moisture environments and as you can see, this D2 hasn't rusted either. So time will tell with this, but it seems like, uh, you know, they did quite a good job with that. And in my opinion, for what you're getting for the price, you know, a powdered metallurgy steel that's gonna hold an edge like D2 and be stain resistant like 14C28 in, that's pretty impressive and I really like that. Another thing I like is the open through, uh, open uh, design similar to this. You know, I just like it kind of more when a knife doesn't necessarily have a back spacer. Um, it's just easier to clean and I think that it's just more elegant looking. Uh, I also like the jimping on this. Now you can see a lot of these knives, um, a lot of the CGRBs, Artisans, you know, a few of the other uh, Chinese knife brands, they, they make nice knives and they make nice designs, but they never add jimping. And so when you, you hold it here and it's plenty comfortable and you know, the, the G10's, you know, traction-y enough, you could say, right? But to really lock you in, um, jimping right there would be very nice. So they have that on here and that is really nice. It really does lock you in and it makes it feel really nice in hand. I really, really like that. Uh, another thing I really like is the overall design of this. This is just a nice looking knife. Um, let me clean this blade off a little bit. It's getting some smudges. 
So this is just a very nice looking knife. With that unpolished uh, micarta, with this upswept blade design, it just looks good. It looks, uh, you know, it looks like a work of art. And we'll kind of talk about that in what I like. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, and, and what's um, unique here in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I think that this design is nice. And one last thing I want to talk about and what I like is the packaging. So when you get it, it comes in this nice little sleeve. Um, that can't be very expensive to do, but it just, you know, makes you feel like you're getting a, a nice knife in the mail, and I, I like that a lot. So, no neutral points on this. Let's move on to what I don't like. Uh, it's really just a couple of things. Um, so, while I think that this blade is nice, and actually it's probably very utilitarian, lots of belly. I mean, this actually, it's not meant for this, probably be a great skinning knife. Look how much belly you have. Nice thin blade right there. Uh, I bet that would be a actually really nice skinning knife, lots of belly. Um, but I thought I would really, really like this blade. I thought I would really like it because I really like the CJRB Gobi because um, it has a similar, similar kind of profile. This has a lot more belly, but this still has that kind of upswept, almost Persian scimitar like style to it. I don't love this. I can't really uh, put, you know, kind of point to why I don't like it and why it doesn't necessarily connect with me. Maybe there's too much sweep to this. Maybe it's just too kind of aggressive of a sweep, too sword-like, right? Uh, in its presentation. It makes the tip quite thin. It's not terribly thin though, so it's not a huge deal. Um, it's gonna be thinner than something like this Gobi though. Um, you know, this is more of a stout blade. Um, so maybe it's just there's too much belly and it's almost, it's too aggressive for me. Maybe that's why, but I, I thought I would really like this, but the more I've held it and the more I've kind of played around with it, it just doesn't really connect with me uh, all that much, even though it does look very nice and this looks, you know, this looks very elegant. Um, so I don't particularly love this upswept blade. I think it's maybe a little bit too aggressive for my taste. And the other thing I don't particularly like is uh, the liner is relatively thin on this. Now, for this style of blade, it's probably not a big deal, but you know, the liner on this CGRB Gobi, you can tell the difference in, in thickness. This is thicker, it's just gonna be more sturdy. Um, so yeah, liner's a little bit thin um, on that. So those are the two things I don't like. Um, you know, I just, I think this upswept is kind of a little bit too aggressive for me and the liner is a bit thin. One thing I do wanna mention before we move on to what is unique is, the uh, something else I like is that fit finish is excellent on this. Um, not a single thing I can complain about. No sharp edges, nothing uh, crazy sharp. You know the um, the edge of the box very nicely sharp. Sharp edges uh, except for on the blade, right? Everything else is smooth. Is you guys knew what I meant? Anyway, uh, yeah, the uh, fit and finish very nice, very nice on this. So, what's unique about this? Well. Um, a lot of these designs that come from companies like Kaiser, Artisan, uh, Wee Knives, um, they they have their flagship models, right? They have their well-known ones. Civivi has the Elementum. Um, you know, Artisan has a few like those big uh, cleaver style folders. Um, so they have a few that are they seem very well designed. But like I said in my last video with the CGRB Gobi, a lot of them can feel kind of like Me Too blades. It's like they're they're very similar. They're drop point, liner lock, G10 handles. There's not much variation to them. What I really like about this uh, Arroyo is this is a Dirk Pinkerton design. Um, let's see if you can see that. Yeah, right there. Um, he's a really good knife maker. I've really, really liked a lot of his designs. And while I don't particularly like how aggressive this blade is, this this feels like a knife that a lot of thought and a lot of effort went to put, you know, went into this design. Um, this wasn't designed by a board, by a factory, by a group of people who don't know anything about knives. This was designed by a legit knife designer, and it shows in its in how its comfort and its styling. Um, and I think that's really cool, and I think that's unique that you're getting really, really high quality knife by a great designer. And I think that is really unique about this blade. Would I recommend it? Yes, I do recommend this knife. Uh, qualities, materials, design, fit and finish, all great. Um, personally, that upswept tip, uh, it's just so, so, there's so much belly to it and it's its kind of, it's, it's so aggressive. I'm not sure if I'll hang on to this one, but uh, if you like that and you really appreciate that, then I think this is absolutely a great knife to own, great knife to have, and I do recommend it if you like that um, style of blade. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, keep an eye out for more videos. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think of the Artisan Arroyo. Let me know what you'd like to see reviewed, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.